Hey there lads, welcome back to the worst commentary channel in the world. In today's video, we're going to discuss some retard who somehow couldn't figure out a multi-monitor display in PC gaming. And then decide to declare PC gaming as a whole as something that was only good if you're a tech wizard. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I'm no tech wizard. And even then, I had zero problem setting up a multi-monitor display for my PC. To be precise, I have two monitors. But anyway, let's get into this video. I like PC gaming, you know, like I've chosen PC gaming, but it is like a world of pain. It is just, if you are not a troubleshooter, if you do not know computer science, like don't be a PC gamer. Bruh, as stated before, I don't know shit about technology. I just know how to make a PC. I know a few lines of Python and that's really it. And even then, I was still able to set up my PC. Even then, I was still able to set it up, game on it, and that's really it. There is not one game that I've ever started in the history of games, especially AAA games, that hasn't given me horrible, horrible problems. Like, for, for, for at least two hours before I can actually start playing it. Bruh, I'm sorry, but I know I've said this already, but if you spend two hours to set up a AAA game just so you can play, you're a fucking retard. Like, if you spend two hours customizing your dick length on Cyberpunk 2077's character creator before actually playing, you're doing something wrong, okay? Like, you're, you're genuinely doing something wrong. This is my situation. I have my desk here. It's my, where I do my editing. I have two monitors, right? And then, I don't want to game here, though, like sitting at my desk. So I have my couch over there with the TV. And I have my TV plugged in via HDMI. So... When I'm gaming, I just want to like go over to the couch and then start playing. But instead, what happens is I go over to the couch, start it, something goes wrong. I have to walk back over here, change something, go back to the couch, something's wrong. I come back, change something, go back to the couch, something's wrong, come back to the couch. It's like I have to go back and forth between the couch like five or six times. <laughs> Bruh, oh my god, I'm sorry. But my guy, if you got to go back and forth between the couch and the desktop or whatever it is that you're using... I'm sorry, but the problem is not setting it up. The problem is you. Literally, all you have to do is make sure that the HDMI is plugged into the right port and not into a different HDMI from what you want. Like, ideally, this is how it would work. Like, Microsoft, Microsoft, listen to me. This is how it would ideally work. Okay, I have my Xbox controller, right? I push the Xbox button, and it gives me a list of my games. <laughs> Why does it do that? doesn't do that it just it, it does everything else so basically you want microsoft to find out why it is that you're such a dipshit that can't figure out an hdmi port got it so i want to press the xbox button it gives me a list of my games and then i click on the game i want to play and then the next prompt that i want <laughs> which monitor do you want to play on i'll tap the monitor then the next prompt should be which audio device do you want <laughs> click on my tv and then the game will start and then i'm done so you're literally mad at Microsoft or whoever for a problem that you yourself caused by not putting in the right video and audio inputs. Con congratulations, bud. Congratulations. Absolute, absolutely high IQ place going on right here. Oh my god. I'm so proud of you. That is how it should work, I feel like. I mean, it doesn't seem too complicated. But instead what happens is... Um, like I'll, I'll, I'll open up steam. I'll drag it to my third monitor, to my TV. I'll drag it over to the TV. I'll go over to the couch. I'll push play and then it'll play here. And I'll be like, fuck. Great. And then I learned that there's a shortcut, uh, windows shift left or right. That'll move it to the different display. But I was playing resident evil two and like literally doesn't do it. It's just like resident evil two is like, meh. Chief, I hate to break it to you, but there's actually a function where you can set certain applications to certain monitors. Like for example, this gameplay over here, this Titanfall 2 gameplay, was on my first monitor. And right now, my Discord and OBS for streaming and Discord calls is on my right monitor, my second monitor. All it takes is literally just a quick Google search to figure this out. I don't like it. Then I have to turn the game off, run over here, push play over here, and then when the window comes up, I have to drag it onto the third screen, onto my TV, then run over to the couch and look at the, at the TV. And then nine times out of 10, the resolution is wrong because it just randomly changes. Like I want to play at 1440p. 
I'm just I'm just playing at 1440p right now, okay? And I just want to play at 1440p, but like I go over there and it's at like 1366 by 285. You know, you're like, who plays it at this resolution? Fuck, kill me, please. Bruh, I don't know how I can explain this any more clearly. Your monitor is not made to handle 1440p resolution. Chances are you are playing the game on a 1080p monitor since that's what a lot of us use. And if you seriously expect, you know, for a 1440p game to play normally on a 1080p monitor, then I'm sorry, but you're you're doing it wrong. Plus, you literally had Resident Evil Village windowed, and then you're complaining that it's not in 1440p. That is not an issue with the resolution, that is an issue with you being a dumb dumb and putting it in windowed instead of full screen. See, this is why the special ed class exists. You know, like, give me 480p, 720p, 1080p, 2160p, and 1440p. And then the rest of them can be in some advanced menu. But like, on Resident Evil 2, especially, you're like clicking through them, and every time you click through them, it like changes the resolution live and in like right in front of you. Hmm, yes. It's almost like the resolution is changing because you're making it change. It's almost like it looks different because you're making it look different because you're customizing it that way. So I'm back on the couch and then I play the game, put, I, I start the game again. It's on the right screen, but now I have the wrong audio. The audio is playing over here and then I have to run back over here, change the audio, change the audio, go back to the couch, push play again. And then I'm like, okay, I want to record this and I have to use nvidia shadow play i think that's what it's called still but nvidia is like overlay i have to use it and so i'll be on the couch and i'll start the overlay and then it'll be again on this monitor oh my i cannot believe i have to say this but if your audio inputs are fucked up and if your shadow play is on the wrong monitor then perhaps maybe change which monitor it is assigned to or change the audio input before you actually boot up the game. It's that simple. Like the game is playing on that TV and, it's, and it opens up over here. Makes no sense. So then I'll stop doing that. Also it like freezes the game sometimes. It's like, I don't get it. So I'll stop the game again and then I have to come back over here and then I have to go to display settings and I have to check off, like make that monitor to my main display, the TV. And then I can go back over there, and then when I do NVIDIA, like, then it works. Never have I heard a man solve every single one of his problems immediately after setting them forth, but also make himself sound incredibly retarded while presenting said solutions. Um, NVIDIA's like, I, I don't mind it. I, I, I want to record an HDR, and OBS Streamlabs doesn't do it, and Windows Game Bar doesn't do it. Hopefully Windows 11 fixes all this stuff. Hopefully this is preemptive. Whatever problems that Nvidia Shadowplay and OBS have, that's not on Microsoft to fix with Windows 11. That's on Nvidia to make a better OS or recording software or whatever. That is not something that Microsoft is in charge of. I don't know why so many people think that Microsoft is in charge of everything to do with PC gaming. It's, it's stupid. So I was just playing Resident Evil 2. I wanted to get some footage for everybody. I wanted like some really great, you know, high quality HDR footage because it looks so good. Like, like playing Resident Evil 2 at 120 hertz at 1440p with like 150% quality is just is, is amazing. It's really, really great. And it's really, really impressive. So I wanted to record that for everybody. And I uh, opened up NVIDIA Shadowplay after I got it to go on the right monitor and everything. And I did it and I played for like an hour. Got to the final boss, I played through the entire lab section, and I finished, and I was like, this is great. And Shadowplay worked, everything was fine, it was super fluid, I did never drop below 120 frames per second, it was amazing. So, what's the problem then? It was exactly what I needed and wanted, even though it took me like a long time to actually get to that point. But, then I came back over here to watch the footage, and I opened it up, and this is what I saw. Yes, my desktop. It recorded my desktop for an hour. Why? Why would it do that? I'm Sandra. You dumb bitch. For the love of God, literally just switch your monitor input in regards to shadow play. It is that simple. That is literally all you have to do. Yeah, we're going to record 
the the secondary display that's not in use. All right, so I looked into this issue a bit, and it turns out it happens quite frequently where occasionally you will be recording the wrong monitor or wrong screen. However, I don't really think that's a reason to say that all of PC gaming is extremely hard to maneuver around. So it's just it's just such a pain in the ass to get games to work. You have to have a computer science degree. Lies in your house of God. Bruh, I am literally studying for a mechanical engineering degree right now. I I can guarantee you, you don't need a fucking computer science degree. In order to get HDR working, I had to open up the settings.ini file, find the HDR value, and change it from true to false when it opened. These are AAA games. It doesn't compute. Maybe I need to work for these people. Rockstar, Microsoft, Capcom, like, please, let me, let me help you. Given that you seem to have the intelligence of a fucking raisin, I don't think anyone wants to give you a job there. Because this sucks. It does. Like, just freaking, like, let me designate my TV as my gaming display. Microsoft, Microsoft, let me designate my TV as my gaming display. And you can. All you have to do is literally just figure out which HDMI port you want it to go in. And then you have a fully functioning gaming display. Problem solved. I never use it unless I'm gaming. So make it so that when I push the Xbox button, gaming display turns on just like it's an Xbox. It's like, a, it's just like an Xbox TV, you know, boom, list of games. Why can't I have that? Because maybe, and consider this, you didn't do it right and instead set up your inputs completely wrong. Even just letting me choose my monitor before the game starts would be a huge, huge improvement. Like I've, <laughs> the, the lengths I've gone to, like I literally bought extension cables, like, like this long extension cables for my display ports so I can unplug them easily under the monitor because I have to unplug them all the time, especially with HDR. I, just constantly plugging things and unplugging things. And I just want it to be easy. I just want it to be like an Xbox. I just want it to be like a PlayStation. Um, please, Microsoft, let me do this. Or if you're someone watching and you have some amazing, wonderful workaround that I have never heard of, like, please tell me. I just, I just want to know. Alrighty then, here's the workaround. Put the HDMI cables in the right port, you credin. I just want to be able to push the Xbox button, select a game, select my monitor, select my audio device, then go. And then in that situation, then it wouldn't even be so bad if I have to be changing settings a lot, you know? Like if in game mode, when I push the thing, if it disabled these two monitors, that would be even better because that's always that's such a problem having these two monitors because then NVIDIA wouldn't think it might be a different monitor. It would only be the, the only monitor like available. Dude, if you don't want those two other monitors, literally just unplug them. Simple as that. You know, so if you are a PC gamer and you are running into problems like this, let me know. If you are a PC gamer and you have your TV connected to your PC via HDMI or whatever, let me know your experience because it, are you like running back and forth to your couch constantly? It's just, it's so, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I love, but I love like maxing out my settings and like tinkering and all that kind of stuff. I love the tinkering, but it's the running back and forth with these things that just shouldn't be. They just, they just shouldn't be like this. My dude, if you genuinely believe all of your problems in regard to this are on the PC itself and not on the user, then I'm sorry, but you need to get your head checked. Like here, the problem is very much you. Um, so yeah, please let me know in the comments how you feel about all this kind of stuff. PC gaming, ugh, so disappointing. Um, but I'm, I was going to say I'm optimistic, but that's not true. Um, I guess Windows 11 is coming out soon, so maybe that'll fix some issues. But if, if you're listening, Microsoft, please just game button with my li a list of games that I can just choose from. Okay. Anyway, that's the end of the video. Honestly, I find it really funny how he says Windows 11 will fix all of these problems when Windows 11 has basically zero to do with a lot of this. It's either one, the companies he's talking about aren't exactly making a good product, like NVIDIA with Shadowplay going on the wrong monitor, or the problems are caused by him not having the right video or audio inputs simply because he was too fucking stupid to actually customize it prior. Anyway, I'ma go cry in the corner because I'm too much of a dumbass to figure out which monitor my game is supposed to go on and which audio input it should be on as well. Have a great day, stay safe.